What's up everybody, this is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and on today's tips and tricks, I'm gonna be showing you guys a helpful tip for getting the most out of key switches, and today we're gonna to be talking about expression maps. Now using expression maps within Cubase is a great way of getting the most out of your different articulations within your library. And today the library that I'm gonna be using to show you guys how to build your own expression maps in Cubase is Hyperion Strings Micro. So it comes with six different articulations and I'm gonna be showing you guys how we can set up the expression map and then utilize it as far as uh, programming an entire section and then being able to switch between the different articulations. Now what makes this really cool is that if you normally program in your different articulations using the key switches by programming in the different MIDI notes. Uh, the thing about this and why it kind of uh, is a hinder to you is because if let's say you want to transpose, you're going to be transposing your, your different key switches that you're programming in with the MIDI notes. So by doing it this way, you can go ahead and transpose into any key that you want without having to worry about your MIDI notes being transposed for the key switches as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start programming in some expression maps. Now, the first thing that you can do is if you look over here, you can see there's expression maps and then expression map setup, or you can actually draw in the MIDI. And if you go into here, you can see it as well. So expression map setup, and then we're gonna add an expression map. And for this, let's just go ahead and set this up as Hyperion Strings Micro. And then from here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six different articulations. So let's just go ahead and we have one already. So two, three, four, five, six. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go down here where you see the root note. And we're gonna set this up as C minus one because over here, this is C minus one. And then what you can do is set remote keys. This is a really quicker way of doing it instead of doing it manually. And then you set this as whatever the root note of the key switch you're gonna be using and then set it to chromatic so it goes uh, chromatically down. Hit OK, bam, they're already there. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to correlate this to this out here for the output mapping. You're gonna want it to be the same. So let's go ahead and we're gonna change this to, and we'll just cut, copy and paste them. So we'll set this to C minus one, add another one and just keep doing this for all of them. Cool, so that way each one is the same as the output mapping, it's very important. Next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to name the articulation. So I, I, like, I like to try and make something a little bit shorter of what it actually is. So over here, this says sustain dyne plus react. So it's sustain dynamic and you know, it's reactive. So we can go ahead and make a shorter version of that. So we can, let's just go ahead and change this to sus. Let's just do sus dyne or we can do Sus dynamic plus react. Close enough. Go to the next one. The next one's going to be staccato. Let's just go ahead and just put stack. The next one's going to be spiccato. Then after that, pizzicato, crescendo, decrescendo. So there we go. We have those. Next thing we need to do is we need to add an articulation that is going to show up in here. Because if you look down here, you see that there's nothing. So we're getting closer, we're almost there. This is kind of the initial setup that kind of takes the most time, but once you get this done, then everything else is a lot easier. So if you click on this, it'll show you a list of different techniques. So if you wanted, you know, spiccatos. So if you wanted to just use these, you can do that too. Um, I like to make my own custom one just because maybe I don't want the actual symbol or whatever it's showing. So we're just gonna do add custom articulation. This is gonna pop up. Then you can change this to symbol or text. What I'm gonna be doing is just basically copying this name over to here. So we'll do text, we'll paste that in, and then we'll just keep going from there. So after that we have staccato. We're gonna add another custom. Changes the text, paste that in, and just keep going from there. All right, so there we go. So now we have all these set up, 
And then after that, the next thing that you want to do is you want to set this to direction because uh, the other one, the attribute one, pretty much it'll just set it between, let's say like how the grid is. So if the grid is for a certain length, it'll only set that key switch for a certain length. So with direction, it'll basically just go the entire span until you actually change it. So let's just go ahead and change all these. And then if you want after that, you can just go ahead and just save it to whatever folder you want. So let's just go ahead and save this as an expression map. So after that, let's just go ahead and program this in. Now let's go ahead and add our new expression map. And you'll see down here, we have them all added. So we have our system. Sustain, staccato, spiccato, pizzicato, crescendo, and decrescendo. So, so there's our sustain. So let's just, let's just go ahead and program in some stuff and just see what happens. And then let's say maybe right here, I want to do some say I want to do some staccatos or something. So for this, I'll just go ahead and step and put it in instead of recording it. So, and then let's go ahead and do some staccatos. And then maybe after that, I wanted to do pizzicatos. So then I'll go ahead and program something going back up. So let's go ahead and start programming in the articulations that we want. So the next one, let's say we want what we wanted these to be staccato. So now from here on it's staccato. And then from here, let's do spiccato. And then from here, let's do pizzicato. Now let's hear how this sounds. Now let's go ahead and program a little bit of a modulation too. Something just kind of just programming anything. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So you can see it makes it so much easier to see. And the thing is, if I want to just go ahead and transpose all this and not have to worry about my key switches getting messed up, I can just highlight them all, select a different key. And there you have it. It's so much easier to see. It makes just programming key switches so much easier. So for any of you guys who own Cubase and you own Hyperion Strings Micro, I'm gonna include in the description below a link so you can download the Cubase project files, the expression maps that I showed you how to make, and then, you know, so you can use them, try them out on your own. And the really cool thing about this expression map is it works across all of the different NKIs that come with Hyperion Strings Micro because they all have the same mapping across all of them. So for violins, violas, cellos, basses, and the ensemble, it's all the same. So you can just go ahead and pop this expression map on each one and you'll be ready to go. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit the bell for notifications so you can get videos as they go live. And let me know in the comments if you guys use key switches or if you guys are Cubase users and have any other kind of tips that you guys want to share. So until next time, I want to thank you guys again for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.